Hey there, here we are again, just a group of footy fans having some footy fun on Footy Fin here. And as promised, here is my dissection of the Blues selections, the New South Wales Blues squad, as picked by Freddie Fittler and his other selectors last week. Uh, and the big game one is tomorrow night. Can't wait, very excited. Now listen, the theme I'm going to focus on here is that Freddie has favoured Panthers players, particularly in the back line, and particularly over informed Rabbitohs players in combinations. Now, of course, Freddie is uh, ex-Panthers. That's where he began his career and had his first uh, grand of two grand final wins. Um, I don't know, maybe there's something in that. Of course, they are the defending premiers, but they've had a very patchy start to the year and they've been beaten by teams including the toothless tigers so you know just because they put a big win on the struggling roosters a couple of rounds ago mm, does that really justify it i don't know and anyway now late breaking news is that latrell mitchell um is ruled out with a calf injury um and i'll i'll come to that but at the moment uh first up i'm going to focus on the initial selection of the uh match day 17 which included latrell mitchell at center and listen uh okay let me just quickly run through from 1 to 17 tedesco trebojevic uh, mitchell adokar luai cleary um isaiah yo hudson young to make his debut tyson frizzell to return in the second row after a couple of seasons out um, Payne Haas, Api Corusau, and Tavita Pangai Jr. Uh, on the bench, Junior Paolo, Cameron Murray, Liam Martin, Nico Hines. So um, what uh, the Blues have gone with there is um, they've got To'o, uh, Brian To'o, Biza on the wing. Um, they've got uh, Luai and Cleary in the halves. That's the combo they're going with. Now, I do not dispute the selection of Nathan Cleary at number seven. However, I do, I'm just not sure about the selection of Luai at six. I mean, they make the claim that, okay, these guys have got the combinations from club land and they've been playing together since they were teenagers and blah, blah, blah. But look, I, I just don't know because let me throw a different hypothesis to you. Uh, the informed team um, up until the last week or two, have been the Bunnies, okay? And I think Cody Walker is just smashing it. So um, Cameron Munster aside, I think Cody's the best 5'8 uh, in the game at the moment in the NRL. And um, look, I would have seriously thought about um, picking uh, Cody Walker at six. He has played at Origin before with Cleary um, and did pretty well. Um, I would have seriously thought about him. I, I, I'm not convinced Tedesco I know is their captain. I'm just not convinced he's um, hitting his straps. And of course, his team, the Roosters, are struggling. I would have even thought about picking Mitchell at number one or possibly Trebojevic and then putting Campbell Graham in the centres. I mean, Campbell Graham has been smashing it um, for most of the season. He scored a couple of hat-tricks. Um, I mean, this young fellow made his NRL debut as a um, as a um, as a schoolboy, and um, he has played rep footy, um, and I believe he was in the Australian team for the World Cup too. There, uh, but I just think, okay, Mitchell's injury aside, but just imagine the combinations in the back line with Cody Walker, Latrell Mitchell, and Campbell Graham. Um, and by the way, Alex Johnson wouldn't have gone too badly on the wing either. Uh, but also think about the combos between Mitchell, Graham and Walker, and then Appy Corusau, who's the Blues um, dummy half, and also Cam Murray off the bench. I mean, we've seen Cam Murray play, play quite a bit of sort of first receiver, distributing it on to Cody Walker and others. So I just, I just really think that together with Nathan Cleary would have made for a great spine. Uh, but anyway, it wasn't to be. I also just want to touch on this. Um, when it comes to Cleary and Luai, um, and so incidentally, Crichton has been thrown in now in place of um, uh, the injured Latrell Mitchell in the centres. So another bunny, uh, another panther in the back line. 
and I think Campbell Graham might come on um, as 18th or 19th man instead. Uh, but if we look at the um, origin sort of track records of Cleary and Luai, um, Cleary's played about 12 or 13 games. He's actually only got about a 50% win record in origin, uh, which isn't great. Uh, likewise, uh, Luai came on board in 2021. And um, look, 2021 was a bit of an anomaly. Sadly, um, the Queenslanders were underdone and they were beaten pretty easily in games one and two. Um, and, um, and, you know, that's just a fact of life. It happened. Um, so, okay, the fact that they were in the halves in, in those two winning um, games, um, I don't know. You, you sort of take that with a grain of salt. Um, so, yeah, anyway, going all the way back to 2018, Nathan Cleary's origin record is very different to his clubland record at only 50% win rate. Anyway, be that as it may, um, uh, Freddie and the Blues have gone with, they favoured the Panthers. Will it pay off for them? We'll wait and see tomorrow night. Can't wait. Bring it on. Apparently, um, Adelaide Oval is well below a sellout, um, so um, that calls into question the merits of taking it to neutral territory. But anyway, can't wait. Bring it on. Little bit nervous. Go Maroons! And um, see you at the game. Or, well, we'll all be watching it anyway. See you under the crossbar. Take care. Bye.